Well guys, um, we're back down here at the trap today and we've been checking it, we've been baiting it, and for whatever reason, the hogs are just not coming down here to the south end. Um, it's not that far, we've caught pigs here before, but up here at the north end, which it ain't a half mile up there, we've got a lot more activity of the uh, pigs coming in. Uh, we've got a feeder up there on that end and we've got a camera set on it and we've been seeing the hogs come into that feeder. So what we're about to do is take the tractor and hook to this and we're just going to drag it up there to the upper end and set it tonight and check it tomorrow morning. Well guys, we got it, the hog trap down here at this upper end and you can just see behind me here where these hogs have been coming and rooting around and everything down here at the river's edge. So we've just got a lot more hog sign up here. So that's why we're gonna move it up here. You can see we're rooting back out here in the riverbed a little bit. We got this cane stuff up here. Um, I think we're probably eating the roots and all. So we'll just see if we have a little better luck up here. We'll get it baited and set and we'll check it tomorrow. Well guys, we um, moved the haul trap last week, um, had it set, didn't catch anything. And for the Monday through Friday, we try not to have it set because we're just so busy during the week. But anyway, they put some feed in it last night and we have finally caught a pig, guys. I did not know that it was gonna be this hard down the river for us to finally catch a pig. But we've moved it up here to the upper end and we've caught one. And um, we're down here this morning and we're gonna go down here and look at him real quick. Well guys, we've got him caught here, so I'm fixing to go in here in just a minute and dispatch him. This is one of those pigs, we're gonna take him back to the house, we're gonna weigh him, get him skinned up, get him hung, and get him processed. Yeah. Where you shot it at? I tried to shoot him in his ear. 
Did you? Ugh. Well guys, we made it back here to the house. We've got our scale out, guys. We're gonna weigh this in just a minute. We've had some rain here last night, yesterday. So pig trap was really muddy. So before we ever even get started, we're gonna pick him up. I'm gonna wash him off really good. And that's just gonna make the cleaning process a lot better so we don't get all that sand and mud everywhere. But um, guys, like I said, we're gonna get our scale out. As soon as we get him up in the air, we'll probably go ahead and weigh him at that point. I ain't gonna worry too much about him being that dirty, but. We're going to go ahead and get him up here in the air and get that one up. Can we get it up there? Watch your fingers. All right, there we go. All right, turn on that scale. Do this one? Huh? Turn on that scale. Oh, we got to turn it off. Oh, my God. Hanging now. Is this the uh, looks like he's 187, 188, guys. We got a little mud on him, so he's still though. Gives you an idea of how big they are. I always keep people keep talking about how small they need to be small and everything. Guys, we're just gonna keep plugging along with this and see how this one turns out. We got it hung up here. Looks like it's about 190 pounds, is what it's showing. We do got mud on it, so anyway. Guys, we're going to go ahead and get this hog skin out, get it processed, get it into the ice chest. Hopefully, be watching. We've got some ideas. I think we're going to try some summer sausage maybe with this. So just stay tuned. So when we get ready to process this, maybe we'll show you all how we make summer sausage. Well, guys, as always, we appreciate you watching. And um, if you would, like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.